Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you, sincere. I keep on that pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. I, and uh, yeah, this is the guy that the apostle, uh, the boy, did a video on. Um, you know, basically, Jake, you know, the usual business being carnal. Um, talking about we need a blood test and you have to have E1, B1 DNA, uh, which is uh, so supposedly Ebo DNA. Uh, but this guy, you know, what what he didn't get is that we don't we didn't just we didn't just call ourselves Ebo after we were lost after we uh, fell away. Okay, there were different groups throughout West Africa. Uh, you have the Ebo, but then you have another group, the Eba. Uh, we, hey, everywhere we go, we we split ourselves up into tribes. In the different groups, even to this day, you have different tribes, right? The Yoruba, you know, the Bantu, whoever. And this just goes to show how Jake is uh, unlearned, you know, and silly, man. And, you know, go check out the Apostle, you know. Hey, <laughs> Jake, 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 this just this goes, goes to show you who the, who the tribes of Israel are, man. They, uh, people know that we're Israelites, but they're still lost. They're still lost. Uh, this is why the scriptures talk about spiritual blindness, right? Make their their uh, their their eyes blind, you know. Make their ears fat, right? Their eyes dark so they can't see this. Even even knowing he's Israelite, he's still in the dark, saying shit like this. All right, and uh, it's interesting. I was reading through the uh, the little description uh, section. And this is going to be a quick video. It says the profanity in this regard is warranted, and it can mostly, and I can most definitely appreciate it and feel it. No, I don't condone it ordinarily, but he expressed what he did exactly how I would about seven to eight years ago. So whoever owns this channel, you you're a simpleton too. It says, uh, let's jump to the point. This brother is a passionate writer. His people and us having to reckon our genealogy per First Chronicles 1 and 9 and the whole E1B1A movement I started and brought forth by grace and mercy of the Most High, whom all praise, glory, blah, 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 blah. And when you say all praises, glory and honor to you, how about you now, Shai? You're not just saying that to say that, man. You're saying that you're giving thanks for the mercy of the Lord. You're giving praises to the Heavenly Father, all right, and the things that He has created. And He didn't just create so-called black people. He created um, so-called uh, Native Americans, so-called Latinos as well, who are our brothers, all right, who are in the same captivities as us. All right, it says uh, Judah and uh, Israel, you know, sometimes it says Judah and Ephraim are in, the ca go are in captivity together. Right? And those those so-called, because all of our people were lost, but the so-called lost tribes, they came over here to the other side of the earth and they went into captivity just like us. Right, but this is an example of uh, how carnal thinking can, uh, you know, block you from seeing uh, spiritual things, man. It's, that's a completely carnal statement. And all the blood work and all of the DNA work and all the stuff they have is based on samples that they take from people who are there now. So if people were taken from that place millions of years ago of a certain tribe or a certain family, then that blood work is not going to show in modern day, right? It's just, just silly, man. Jake, you know, bringing that shit, you know, and then opening up a Bible and then Adding their own, no, you can't do that. Now you got to be born again. This is now. This is uh, First Chronicles that he mentioned, nine and one. So all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, they were written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah, who were carried away to Babylon for their transgression. Now we had records, yes. All right, the temple has certain records. We had scribes, 
I ate. We had scrolls. We had all that stuff. When we went into captivity, when we went into war, we disobeyed the Most High. Our temples were burned down. Our records were taken. Our genealogies were lost. All right. Scriptures always talk about the the, the widows. Right? Certain men were killed off. Now with them, they took certain information about their lineage. Right? Then you have the, the children who were born up who might not have been born knowing their, their full lineage. Maybe they knew what their tri tribe they were from, but they didn't necessarily know their lineage. Right? That's definitely true here in 2022. Right? That's, that, that is definitely true. All of us fell away from, from our lineage. There are our lineage records. Maybe Esau got them in a, in a, in a, in a you know, the Vatican vault somewhere or some shit, but we ain't going to have them. Okay, so we're moving off of the spirit. And this is what Paul was saying when he, was, uh, when he went to the Gentiles. Right, this, this is just carnality, man. We don't have a genealogy. Where's your paperwork? That, that, or is your, can, can you declare your pedigree going back up to, <clears throat> you know, whoever the, uh, uh, whatever tribe you descend from, so like it, right? which one, one of the sons of Jacob you descend from? Can you, can you declare that full line? Right? Hey, they could, you know, yeah, I was, I was able to. Can you do it? No, you can't. Right, stop, stop playing around. Right, and guess what? The so-called Amalekites, you know, they, they, they claim that they have lineage which traces them back to the Lord. I right, through some kind of rabbi or some bullshit. I, 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 I haven't seen that paperwork either. All right, so we're not doing nothing by paperwork, man. Papers burn and, you know, Esau invites you in. Here, build this library. And then the library mysteriously burns down. It's been, it happens, you know, multiple times. It's happened multiple times here in America, too. And it's like it, you know, of course you do a lesson and you get a hundred phone calls. All right, this is um. First Timothy, one. And four, need to give feed to heed to fables and endless genealogies, which minister questions, rather than godly edifying, which is in faith. So do. Okay, so we're interested in edification. We're not about to sit here and, well, look, brother, I go back to the, the line of Aaron. And then what do I bet? Look, we don't have the, the lineages. We don't have that. All right. Now, certain brothers have certain spirits. You know, certain brothers agree. Hey, that brother, you know, he must be from this tribe. Or that brother, he might be from this tribe. Yes. All right. But do we have exact confirmation that that is true? No, we don't. Ultimately, certain things we'll see in the kingdom. We'll see and know in the kingdom. All right. Titus 3 and 9. It said, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. Exactly. So, you know, we're not about to sit here and question the Lord and question the law. Oh, why did he do it? You know, you might look something up to understand the law. You know, nothing wrong with that. And then, you know, you might see, oh, that's why the Heavenly Father did. But we're not going to sit here and question it. Oh, why did the Heavenly Father do it like that? Why? You know, look, the, the law is the law. It stands. All right? We're not about to sit here and strive and, you know, do it back and forth. We're not about to sit here and ask, you know, s s silly questions, man. Certain questions, you just have to hold your peace. You know, maybe you'll look it up for yourself. Maybe the Lord will uh, bless you to receive the answer. Maybe it takes some time. All right, but the point being edification, and just like in the scripture we just read, edification, man, we're edifying. All right, we're not sitting there trying to take a blood test and, okay, I see I'm an official Israelite. Guess what? There are no prizes for official Israelites. All right, those Israelites who are living over there in Demona, I believe they're near some type of, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're near a lot of the uh, the uh, military zone, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so they ain't, you know, they ain't out of the, 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 the fire. Right, it's not time to go back, man. The Lord is going to bring us back, and he's going to bring peace into the land. That we're going to bring peace to the whole earth. And we ain't worried about DNA. And, and guess what? Even if we did test for Ebo, 
That don't make you righteous, and that don't mean you're going to make it, okay? And then once again, it's not just the evil that you're from. <laughs> it's not just the evil. Like, yes, they might have an original Torah, but guess what? The Torahs were, which were written in many languages, all right? And there were Torahs which were written in many different languages, which were lost, or maybe they, you know, still are preserved. All right, this is... um. What's the one I want? Well, this is Acts 2. And this is what happened with the uh, so-called Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners. 2 and 2, it said, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as, a, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Out of every nation? Out of every nation. So our people were scattered at this time, they were scattered out of, in every nation. <laughs> all, right, all of the known nations at the time. And not just, they weren't just scattered into you know, this nation or that nation, they were scattered in every nation. And that's why our people are, our people are in every nation. So you don't just need an Igbo Torah. You're going to need a, a Torah in Japanese. You might need a Torah in Chinese. You might need a Torah in this language, that language. Right? That's what that's what we're going to do, man. We're going to be able to finally gather our people to a nation. But when, you know, Negroes like this like to, to take away and add to the scriptures, you, you're bringing division to our nation. All right? that's, a, that's a no no. This says what? Now, when there was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So they were hearing them speak in, in, in the language of these places where they came from. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in their own tongue wherein we were born? Parthenians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia and Pontius in Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and in parts of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians. All right, so they were talking, there was, there was some, uh, some, some Israelites who were scattered to Arabia, all right, the Isle of Crete. It says, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of the Heavenly Father. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, what meaneth this? Now, were all these men, did they all, you know, come from the same nation? No, they did not. Clearly. Right? Is all Israel going to come from the exact same place? No, they were not. All Israel did not go to Ebo land, right? You had some, you had so-called Moors, so-called Moriscos. You had Israelites. Hey, King James, right? He was the king of uh, Ireland, Scotland, and uh Excuse me, and uh, Great Britain. All right, so you had Jake up there too. All right, Iberia, you know, Spain, Portugal, the um, the Sephar Sephardic Jews, Sephardi. All right, so Sephard meaning book, you know, the people of the book. And right, then you had man all over, man, all over. Even even when the apostles, when they when they went, you know, where they went, which is not necessarily written, but it's, it's you know it's historically accepted. They went into different parts of the world, the known world as well. All right. It's so Lord willing. This is edifying. You know. It's important to be spiritual, man, especially in these times. All right. And then two, you got Edomites. He talked about the tares and the wheats. <laughs> you got Edomites who have children by these evil women. All right. So they they sold their seed in amongst the wheat. But guess what? Once you read down, it tells you the angels know how to separate the two. So the one.